thousands of farmer protesters from India's north are now marching towards the capital. They are demanding a legal guarantee on the minimum support prices on all crops. And among other demands are like pensions and debt waivers. These are also things that they are asking for. Talks between the farmers and the government ended inconclusively on Monday night after which protesters began their march to Delhi on Tuesday. Dramatic scenes unfolded when they were stopped at the Punjab-Haryana border. Tear gas was fired resulting in several injuries. Now the Punjab government has sounded an alert in hospitals located near the Haryana border in the wake of many protesters in fact getting injured following clashes with police at Shambhu and the Khanori borders. Haryana has meanwhile extended suspension of mobile internet services in seven districts till the 15th of February. Unrelenting agitators nonetheless decided to continue their march towards Delhi. Farmers camped through the night on the roads as security was ramped up in the capital. The police have erected multi-layered barricading on the roads connecting Delhi, disrupting traffic and resulting in heavy congestion throughout the city. Now the latest protest comes from more than three years after a year-long farmers' protest around Delhi ended in 2021. Back then, the government conceded to the immediate demands of the farmers and initiated further talks for other demands. Seeing no substantial steps taken on those demands after three years, the protesters are back on the streets leading a march to the capital.